So first I've imported the slide animation that I've added into the platformer assets. And then we need to go into the player object and modify the step event of the object to add the code for wall jumping. So first we need to add a local variable called on a wall, which will return one if there's a wall on the left of the player or minus one if there's a wall on the right of the player. This will allow us to set the direction of the player to jump in the opposite direction of the position of the wall. So if there's a wall on the left, we want the player to wall jump to the right and vice versa. So now we want to make the player slide if they are on the wall. So we want to modify this if statement and add the case when the player is on the wall. So we are going to add this code here in an else if statement. So if on the wall is different than zero, so if the player is on the wall, we'll change the direction of the sprite of the player to be the opposite of the position of the wall. And we set the sprite of the player to be the sliding animation. We also want the player to fall slower while they are on the wall. So we are going to modify this line of code. So before we used to add one every frame to the y speed of the player to simulate gravity. So we're going to lower that if the player is on the wall. So we need to replace this line of code with this, which will limit the maximum falling speed of the player to be five if they are on the wall. So now if we launch the game, we should see that the wall sliding is working. And now we need to add the actual wall jumping. So before we had the jump code inside of the if on the ground statement. So we're going to take it out of here and put it outside of the if statement. And we want to do something different if the player is on the ground or if they are on the wall. So we're going to replace this code with this. So if the player is on the ground, we are just going to do a normal jump. And if they are on the wall, we're going to do a normal jump on the vertical axis. And we are also going to add some speed on the horizontal axis to make the player push off the wall. If we don't add the speed in the horizontal axis, the player will just be able to climb walls in the straight line, which is not the usual behavior you would expect. And this will make it so it will be the same behavior as in games like Super Meat Boy or Hollow Knight, which is what most games do. And to do that, we also need a timer that will lock the movement of the player for a few frames. And if we don't add this, the player will just be able to move back to the right or to the left after right after jumping. So it won't work. So to lock the movement of the player, we need a new variable that we'll add in the create event of the player object and we'll set it to zero. We also need to decrement it every step. So we're going to add this line of code at the beginning of the step event, which will decrement the movement locked variable until it reaches zero. And we need to forbid the player from jumping or moving while this variable is above zero. So we're going to put all of the jumping code inside of an if statement. And we also need to forbid the player from changing direction and from moving to the left or to the right while they are locked. So we need to put these two lines of code inside of the if statement as well. And now if we launch the game, we should have working wall jumping.